So if you see the nomenclature of this diagram, it will be like this. A spherical surface, a true magnetic meridian of north, we can assume this one as Nm and here this is ZE, this is point P, the down of point P we can assume BE, and on the surface we can assume HE. The angle between BE and HE is I. So here also I am changing those values. So the angle between HE and BE is I, here it is declination. Now, with respect to this I, we can imagine the cos theta and sin theta. What is this I angle of inclination or declination? Here we can say it as inclination. We can re you can assume this inclination in form in terms of theta also. So from the same structure, what is sin I? Opposite side by hypotenuse. So we can write ZE by BA. Let us say this is equation 1. Cos I. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side is HI. Hypotenuse is BA. Now I am equating, uh, dividing this equation 1 and 2. So sin I by cos I is equal to ZE by BE whole divided by HE by BE. So if you simplify this equation, we will get sin I by cos I is tan I is equal to ZE by HE. So angle of inclination I is equal to tan inverse ZE by HE. So here it is ZE by BE into BE by HE. So BE, BE gets cancelled. It will be ZE by HE. That's why I wrote that one as a final equation. So, we, we got the angle of inclination with respect to the Earth's magnetic meridian and geographic magnetic meridian. Point P the ground of magnetic field mano HE, BE, ZE in the resolute chase kunte. HE ki BE ki on the angle ni angle of inclination and taru. HE true north to chase angle ni declination and taru. So then nundi manam okay, circular diagram ni zoom chase kunte. Sin I, cos I values ila oste. Then solve jc tan I is equal to ZE by HE ka manam obtain chai watch. So now we will discuss a numerical based on this concept. Now, this is the numerical which is based on the concept of Earth's magnetic components. In the magnetic meridian of a certain place, the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field is 0.26 Gauss and the dip angle is 60 degrees. What is the magnetic field of Earth at this location? The horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field is 0.26 Gauss. Angle of dip D is equal to 60 degrees. Then what is the Earth's magnetic field at that point? We know that cos theta or cos D is equal to HE by B. So for cos, what is the angle of dip? 60 degrees is equal to HE by B. Cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2. HE is 0 0.26 Gauss is equal to B. If you cross multiply this equation, 
B E is equal to two into zero point two six gauss. Nothing but zero point five two gauss. So if angle of dip is sixty degrees, the horizontal earth's component is zero point two six gauss. Then the earth's magnetic field will be zero point five two gauss. Next concept we are going to discuss is magnetization and magnetic intensity. We know that earth contains lot of metallic fluids that were rotating from one interior part of the earth to the other interior of the part. Then it carries a current or it carries some force or charge that constitutes the magnetic field as well as electric field. We know all these things. So we are assuming the earth as a spherical surface. So therefore, the magnetization or magnetic intensity of the earth is defined as net magnetic momentum by unit volume. So m is equal to m net by unit volume. We are assuming the volume because we are treating earth as spherical surface. So it is m net by v is equal to capital M. Its dimensional formula is L inverse A. Its unit is A M inverse. So this is an information about the magnetization and magnetic intensity. In such cases, what we can understand is, if suppose, if you assume a solenoid, like this, which contains some n number of turns on it, carries a current of I, number of turns is N, current carried by then the net magnetic field due to this solenoid is equal to B is equal to mu naught N I. But this B is equal to mu naught N I. Here we should consider the two parts. One is interior, another one is due to the magnetic core that was wounded on the solenoidal shape. So one is interior, another one is magnetic field. due to the core of the material. So we can expect two types of magnetic fields. One is interior of the solenoid. Second one is the material what we have used. With respect to that material, we can assume the persistence of the magnetic field. That is due to the core of the magnetic material that was wounded in a form of solenoid. So in such cases, this magnetic net magnetic field is going to change. Net magnetic field B is equal to B naught plus Bm. If B is equal to B naught plus Bm, here we can expect these things. What is B naught? Mu naught H due to the interior, where H is magnetic intensity and Bm we can write mu naught M due to the magnetic core, magnetization due to the magnetic core. So therefore, B is equal to B naught plus Bm. So we can write mu naught H plus mu naught M. So we can 
take mu naught as common so it is m plus h so b is equal to b naught plus bm we know that this b naught is due to is nothing but the magnetic field due to the external factors nothing but the current passing through the conductor bm is due to the magnetic field due to the magnetic core of the substance so in such cases we, we are writing this equation as b is equal to mu naught h plus mu naught capital m so we can write this one as mu naught into h plus m and now we can write m is equal to chi h so what is this chi magnetic susceptibility so what is this magnetic susceptibility on the base of this susceptibility only the matter is classified into three different types of magnetic materials we will discuss this after this one we will discuss later so i am writing m is equal to chi h therefore b is equal to mu naught into h plus chi h so mu naught h into 1 plus chi so though what is this 1 plus chi 1 plus chi is equal to mu r so what is this mu r relative magnetic permeability So I am substituting this mu r is equal to 1 plus chi in this equation therefore b is equal to mu naught mu r into h it is nothing but mu h. So we can write mu is equal to mu naught mu r so from this mu r is equal to mu by mu naught permeability of the medium by permeability of free space permeability of the medium by permeability of free space So like this we can define the relative magnetic permeability or relative permeability. So this is the concept behind the magnetization and magnetic intensity where H is said to be magnetic intensity due to the external cause where M is nothing but the magnetic intensity due to the core of the substance.